I'm going to have to start every fresh and fit reaction like this. I do not agree with some of the stuff that fresh and fit say, but I do find it entertaining. So I'm going to react to it. And it's funny. And they do be saying some real stuff. Not everything that they say is true, but not everything that they say is not true either. So we got how her degenerate advice curses women like this. All right. Let's see what kind of advice she's going to give us. I just find it interesting how you gave this advice, yet you don't follow it yourself, allegedly. Does that Is make that, sense? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> it actually doesn't make sense. What, what I want and like. What I think is not the same as everybody else. Everybody has their own opinion. Everybody is entitled to their True. own opinion. I may not True. agree with what you think. Your opinion can be wrong sometimes. You gotta accept that too. If I say two plus two is four, that's a fact. But you cannot be like, my opinion is that two plus two is five. That's my opinion and it should be right. No. But yeah or what you say see here's the difference between men and women <coughs> women will say something even though they don't agree with it they know it's probably not going to be uh, you know productive and it could potentially hurt the people that are getting the advice because they want to be all inclusive yeah and not hurt anyone's feelings men on the other hand we got to tell each other the truth get your money up stop being a fucking bum stop being a bitch stop Bad. being soft like, it's crazy to me how women lie to each other. This is why I tell people all the time. People get mad at me. You're sexist. You're misogynistic. I tell women, women all the time, don't take advice from your girlfriends. They will keep you single. Yeah. They will make you a hoe. They will put you in a bad predicament where you can't lock down a guy because the advice that women give to each other is a lot of the times not the advice that works or even worse yet, like Just this to make lady, them feel good. the advice that they don't even follow themselves. <laughs> oh, be a hoe. Even though I ain't going to be a hoe. <laughs> you go, girl. Uh, no, bitch, yeah. don't go that far. It's like, yo, yeah, y'all give each other terrible advice. Like, you came on a podcast with 10,000 plus people watching saying, yo, it's okay for you to go fuck another guy on your bachelorette party, but you're saying yourself, I wouldn't do that. That's crazy to me. Why? She's why, getting married Why is soon? that crazy? Okay. Let's say I, I agree that, like, getting <laughs> yeah. advice from your girlfriends isn't always the best. Maybe it's not never. because Let me ask they you want this. to keep Bruh. you single. Let me ask you this. What, what if I told guys, I got on this podcast, I said, yo, listen, guys, I need y'all niggas to start eating Cheetos and play video games in your mom's basement. <laughs> Hey, yo, Chris. <laughs> would, would that, would that, what, what, what do you think that would that be good advice for men to Hell get no. girls? I mean, some gamers make a ton of money, and some gamers. But not all gamers make a ton of money. Oh my god, I I hate when they go to the sum. They go to the small percentage. Almost everybody in the world plays games. N <laughs> not all of them make money. I play games. I don't make money off the games. Gamers are hot. I'm not gonna lie. Some gamers are hot. Some, like, are you a gamer? Some. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Realistically speaking, do you think a guy that's eating Cheetos all day in his mom's basement playing video games is gonna get girls? Probably not. Is that good advice to give to a majority of men? Nope. Probably not. So why would you give advice to and uh, <laughs> advise the majority of women to fuck a dude on their bachelorette party? Is that what they want to do though? Like, who am I to say you can't do? It? If that's what you want to do, go do it. How about you tell them don't do that? It's it's. It's dangerous. It could lead to you like hella shit happening to you. Like, give him a good advice. Say no, don't do it. Because potentially hella shit can happen to you. Do you but you aware of the fact friends? that a lot of the times you have to do things that you don't want to do to be successful in life? Sometimes you do, yeah. No, all the time. That's how successful people are made and yeah. losers are born. Because successful people are made and losers are born because successful people understand that they have to make it happen regardless of how they feel. This is a difference between men and women, right? Because men have to go out there and earn it. Women don't. So you can say ridiculous things like this and say, it's okay. Don't deal with the consequences of your actions. You still deserve everything. Because we live in a world where we don't tell women the truth. We let, tell them comforting lies because it's about how they feel versus what's real. Yeah, I agree with them on that one. Yeah, I do. Well, some men, too, give advice, and they don't work with the advice that they're giving. But men are not going to tell their friends, hey, um, you should sit home and just fucking be a loser. They're not going to lie to you and be like, oh, actually, that looks good. No, it doesn't look good. Uh, you need to lose some weight, bro. That's just how men operate. Women, on the other hand, 
you'll find them calling Lizzo beautiful. In what world? Make it make sense.